All right, now that you, now that you guys have downloaded the, the graphics, the daily graphics folder, you've compared them to what announcements we have, you now know which ones we still need to make graphics for. So we're going to choose this boys golf one, okay? Now the program we're going to use to make the graphics, although you don't have to, but it's the easiest one to make a professional looking graphic, is called canva.com, okay? So you go to canva.com. If you have Facebook, the quickest way is to just sign in with Facebook. If not, you can sign in with your Google account. Well, either way, they're just as fast. Google or Facebook, okay? So you sign in. If I knew my password. Okay, so you log so you log in to Canva, and then we want to use the social media one because it makes a nice size that we can put it on Twitter and Facebook and stuff as well. We click on that, and then you want to choose a template that looks professional. Okay, you can also, if you want to put a background picture, like maybe it's about soccer, you want to put a picture up, you can upload a picture right here. But we're going to choose a template that looks nice but we need to choose um, one that's free, otherwise you gotta pay a dollar for them. So if you hover over them and you see a dollar sign right there, then that means you have to pay for it. If you find a free one, then you can use the free one. Okay, so let's find a free one that looks nice. This one's about golf. So this one right here, it's free. Let's see. Yeah, we'll use this one. All right, we'll click on this one. Gives us the default. Then we need to go back to the announcement and see what we need to write about. You're not just going to copy all these words and put them into the announcement. All we're doing on the graphic, all we're doing on the graphic is saying what's the what's the event or what's the announcement, and then when and where is it. That's it. Unless it's like a spotlight, like if we're saying that the football team won, then it'll talk about that. And maybe it will highlight a couple kids. Okay. So we make our graphic, and then each of these are text box, kind of like Microsoft Word or Photoshop. <coughs> and so this one happens to be golf. So I would probably say something like, boys golf, OK? Now what else is it? What is it asking? It says if you want to play golf, come see Coach Crowther as soon as possible on H107. Okay. So boys golf. Come on. I need to click on this one. Right there. Double click on it. We'll put coach's name right there. Coach Crowther. See how it made it two lines though? We want to keep it nice. We want to make it a little smaller. So highlight your text. It's just like a text editor in Microsoft Word. And then we can change the size of it right here. Uh, that's not small enough. See, that might be small enough. If we hover on these handlebars, these little circles, you can expand them. That might. That might do the trick, but not quite, so we still need to make it smaller. And turn 14. 14 does the trick, okay? Now I hover here and move it where I want it. You can also move it with your arrows on your keyboard. Okay, line it up. Boys Golf. Um, Coach Crowther. What room was it? We'll put the room number nice and big so people know where to go for golf. H107. H107. Okay. And then down here we'll put a few details since it's got the space for it. We'll put interested in playing golf. If I could type. I 
I guess we're gonna say interested in playing golf, C not caps. C I guess that makes it caps worse with this template. C coach Crowther. And then we can delete this one because there's no time or anything that needs to go there. Alright, so there you go. There you have a nice little graphic about boys golf that's ready to go. The next thing we need to do is download it. We just click download and PNG is fine. And that's fine. Okay, so download is a PNG. And click download. Wait for it to finish. And the last thing we need to do is we need to name this correctly and put it in the daily graphics folder. So we click on that, show in finder. That'll show us where it's at. We don't want to call it Eugene because that doesn't make any sense. So we want to say boys golf. Okay. And then I'm going to click and drag it into my daily graphics folder so that it's with all the other graphics that were already made right there. Alright, so there's my first graphic. So now your job is to make a graphic in Canva. Use a different template than the one I showed you here so that you get used to manipulating templates. And then show me the graphic and I'll give you credit for that assignment. Okay? Any questions? <coughs> Can we do this on our computer? You can do it, yeah, anywhere, yeah, because it's online. So. Um, you can as long as you're not playing video games on your computer. Okay. All right, go for it.